Hello, hello, and welcome to another Steel Division Unit of the Reek. And today we're going to take a look at the SS Shupo Rifle Squad. So when you think of SS troops, you're usually thinking of Rothen SS troops. The frontline dudes, the guys who are fanatical to the cause, you know, skulls in their hats, and also committed a bunch of terrible war crimes. But not all SS troops were created equally, however, because not all SS troops were in the Rothen SS. That was only one branch of the organization. There was also the Suits Police, or SS Shupo. These were the chaps who were in charge of maintaining order in usually occupied territory. You have more lighter equipped with reserve equipment and sometimes armored cars. And their main role was to pretty much defend important strategic areas in the city and also deal with anti-saboteur and anti-partisan activity. But, you know, when, when worse comes worse and let's say the Soviets do a massive offensive in late June of 1944 and you're the only, you know, units nearby, sometimes you're thrusted into combat activity and try to stop the, the Red Army from breaking through Orsa and Minsk. In-game, the SS Shupo is a 15-point rifle squad available exclusively to Korok 559, and they have three weapons. So for weaponry, you got one SMG with the MP28, eight boat action rifles with the carbine and 98, and one machine gun with the MG26, which is a captured Czech machine gun. Overall, it's, a, it's not the best weapon load out entire row, to be entirely honest, but for a 15-point detergent squad, you got an SMG, you got a machine gun, what more can you really ask for? Up down to the miscellaneous stat is a 10-man squad with good optics, good stealth, and heavy cargo space. In battle, the SS Super is a, it's a really crazy infantry squad, to be entirely honest. It's just due to how ridiculously decent it is for being a disheartened spam squad. Now compared to Ersatz Truppen, which is a standard capture German spam squad, they're better. They're much better. You got one extra guy and a machine gun for the same price. Pretty damn good. And compared to Schumer, which is also available in the Korok 559, I'd argue the SS Schupo are better as well, because you got the machine gun, you got a bit of extra HP, the SS Schumer are five point cheaper and they're not disheartened. Well, you, you don't want to have a machine gun, which kind of sucks. But what makes bloody SS Shupo so goddamn good? This is due to the ridiculous amount that you can get. This is probably the most spammy infantry I, I want to say in any of Eugene Systems games, to be entirely honest, from War Game, Steel Division, whatever. Because you can get. 12 of them per card in a phase. Unvetted, of course. Oh, of course they're going to be unvetted. 24 per card in B phase. Unvetted. And 36 per card in C phase. Also, you have 6 cards of these fuckers. 6 goddamn cards. You can actually get over 200 of these infantry shrots if you want. You can get more SS Supo and you have transport trucks. And that's not even considering the other infantry that you're going to get with Cork 559. You just get a ridiculous amount of these guys. I don't know where the Germans are pulling them from. They must have some sort of SS Supo factory where they just keep finding all these chaps to throw into the front line. And that's what you're going to be doing with SS Supo. Yeah, the Imperial Guard from Rawhammer. You throw them on the front line, they're going to get shot at. But they're going to draw fire and allow your other fire support units to do actual damage. And for a meat shield squad, so to speak, you're honestly not that bad due to the fact you do have a machine gun. It's not the best machine gun in the entire world, it's pretty much like a Bren gun. But it, it's better not having a machine gun compared to a satchel or Schumer's or other reserve squads, for example. It just gets so many. You just get so many of these guys. You just keep throwing them on the front line. You lose two, you just get four. You lose six, you get another twelve. You can just keep doing that, because you just have so many. Even if you only take three cards worth, you you got you got well over sixty if you take one in A phase, one in B phase, and one in C phase. And that's that's pretty reasonable. And that's what makes Korg pretty, pretty fun to play. It's just usually the amount of goddamn shoepos that you can get. You're definitely going to be shooting a lot of each police unit, that's for damn sure. But, uh, yeah, 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 spammy. You just, you get a lot of them, and they shoot stuff. Or for decent budget. 
And well, I'm going to leave it off here. This has been another Rangaroo Unit of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.